Legendary comic book creator Stan Lee has dismissed his $1 billion lawsuit against POW Entertainment for fraud and conversion less than two months after the suit was filed in his name. In a statement, Lee said, The whole thing has been confusing to everyone, including myself and the fans, but I am now happy to be surrounded by those who want the best for me. I am thrilled to put the lawsuit behind me, get back to business with my friends and colleagues at POW, and launch the next wave of amazing characters and stories. Added POW CEO Shane Duffy, we are ecstatic that this ill-founded lawsuit has been dismissed and we look forward to working with Stan again to develop and produce the great projects that were put on hold when the lawsuit was filed. We recently got together with Stan to discuss our path forward and we and Cam Singh are pleased with his overwhelmingly enthusiastic reaction. Lee filed the complaint in May in Los Angeles County Superior Court claiming the company and two of its officers conspired to steal his identity, name and likeness in a nefarious scheme involving a sham sale to a Chinese company. Pao was acquired in 2017 by Hong Kong-based Cam Singh International. In his lawsuit, Lee said that Duffy and Pao co-founder Gil Champion didn't disclose the terms of the deal to him before it closed. At the time, Lee claimed he was devastated because his wife was on her deathbed and they took advantage of his grief and his macular degeneration, which rendered him legally blind in 2015. In his complaint, Lee said last year that Duffy and Champion, along with his ex-business manager, Gerardo Olivares, whom he's currently suing for fraud, asked him to sign a non-exclusive license with POW for the use of his name and likeness in connection with creative works owned by the company. Instead, what he allegedly signed was a fraudulent intellectual property assignment agreement that granted POW the exclusive right to use Lee's name, identity, image and likeness on a worldwide basis in perpetuity. Lee, who was selective about licensing his name and likeness, also claimed POW took control of his social media accounts and had been impersonating him, a concern he addressed on Twitter in May. The comic book legend had been seeking an injunction declaring the agreement invalid and unenforceable and damages in excess of $1 billion. At the time, a rep for POW called the allegations completely without merit. In April, the company released an open letter to fans saying it was concerned about the upheaval within Lee's personal management and life following an investigative report by THR that included allegations of elder abuse. POW also said Monday it would deal appropriately through all legal means with others who attempt to interfere with Lee's well-being and relationship with POW to prevent anything like this from happening again. To read more on this story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.